Phototaxis, organisms using light as a reference for navigation. These moths have been around for hundreds of millions of years, so why then do our artificial lights, only being around for a few hundred years, have such a dramatic effect on the movement of these organisms? As a matter of fact, why does it seem like so many of our own adaptations are jeopardized by the world around us? Society has changed dramatically since the origin of humanity, and as a result so have our lifestyles. But we remain in similar bodies with adaptations best suited for our original world. This is the story of evolutionary mismatch. Our bodies are designed to thrive in a completely different world. Our ancestors were hunter-gatherers, meaning that everything from our diets to our lifestyles are completely different. We live in an ever-changing world. Once we finally adapt to something, that is, once we are finally able to match ourselves to the world around us, it changes. Now just take a second and think about the world humans have created. Humans alter their environment like no other species. Because of us, the environment changes more rapidly than ever. This human-induced rapid environmental change has thrown us into this dynamic environment, and our bodies that were made for a hunter-gatherer world are now mismatched. Evolutionary mismatch is something that takes place whenever a population is, you might say, out of kilter with its uh, environment. So natural selection takes time, it takes generations for organisms to adapt to their environments. And when the environment changes, then more time is required for the um, population to uh, readjust. During that period is the period of evolutionary mismatch. We are exceptionally mismatched to our current environments as humans, and we have also caused the rest of life on Earth to become mismatched to their environments uh, with our um, anthropogenic change. It said that uh, we've, uh, we've caused a new geologic era, the Anthropocene, and so uh, that means the whole world, in a sense, is mismatched to its uh, environment. Mismatches are all around us, and it might not be uh, the best thing to let evolution take its course. Uh, we might want to intervene, and fortunately, there are ways that we can intervene to solve certain mismatch problems, the ones that are creating the most dysfunction, both for ourselves and for many other species. So one of the most famous mismatch problems has been uh, sea turtles, baby sea turtles. When they hatch, they need to make their way to the sea. And the way they do that, the way they evolved to do that, is by being attracted to light, which in the ancestral environment is the light reflected on the surface of the sea. Uh, but what happens when you build beach houses and street lights and so on? So now it's the interior of the island that's brighter than the surface of the sea. They all head inland and there's your mismatch. You can't just let evolution go on its course because the population will go extinct before then. What the uh, Sea Turtle Conservancy did is they figured out that they could change the uh, spectral properties of the light coming from the beach houses so as to uh, only emit red, red light. People could still use their beach houses, they could still illuminate porches and walkways, but it would uh, not be given off blue photons that would, that would dis disorient these sea, sea turtles. And that's an example of a kind of a biohack. Biohacks are intentional innovations we can use to work around certain forms of mismatch. Imagine an electrical plug, one designed for our country's outlets. Then imagine bringing this plug to another country with different outlets. This would make our plug design completely non-functional. How do we fix this? With an adapter something that makes a match out of a mismatch by bypassing the issue that was there in the first place. 
So it's important to emphasize that mismatches exist for all evolutionary processes, not just genetic evolution, but also cultural evolution, and also our own personal histories. So we are evolutionary processes. Our learning ability is an evolutionary process. So we can be well-matched or mismatched to our environments as individuals, and cultures can be well-matched or mismatched. And a good example that actually ties into mismatch itself is germ theory. Uh, the theory that, uh, that diseases are caused by germs, that actually took centuries to develop uh, during the 17th and 18th uh, uh, century. Now we have that firmly in mind, and a lot of medical practice is based on the idea of germs. Mismatch is another kind of disease, you might say, or a set of diseases which call for a different set of solutions. But the medical establishment is itself mismatched in myopically focusing on uh, infectious diseases and needs to evolve, culturally evolve, in order to solve mismatch problems itself. This is like mismatch um, uh, reflecting upon itself, you could say. The bottom line when finding solutions to sources of mismatch we see every day is this. Ideas are important. That means that in order for us to change the world, we need to change the way we think. History gives us plenty of examples of how entire societies change with the presence of new ideas. When the world first learned about germ theory, the presence of pathogens that influence our health, a revolution occurred. Society completely changed. Health regulations, lifestyle choices, the health industry, everything was affected by a simple idea revealed by science. Simply learning about the idea of microbial germs opened many new doors which benefited the lives of countless people. This really shows us how powerful knowledge is. Mismatch may be one of the most important ideas we have today. If we use this lens to look at the world around us, we see that the issues we face on a daily basis are solvable. It would be nearly impossible to fix these issues with social reform in our current world. But if we change, or better yet revolutionize the way we think about the world around us, if we took the time to understand our own place in the world, then finding solutions to the problems that plague our daily lives would just be another step in human progression.